do I scare you? I know I can treat you better than he can and any girl like you did. Hi guys. This lighting is not my best choice. I don't have any good lighting right now and I can't film my webcam. If you want the full detail about why I was gone and now I'm back, you can watch my previous video where I showed you what my makeup looked like in high school. <laughs> this is just kind of the aftermath to that. Yeah, aftermath to that video, so I thought I would film the story time I've been meaning to film for so long. Eva and I were followed. And it's in a vlog. If you go to the first part of my vlog week, the second part's coming. It's just really hard to like edit and stuff because my camera and my phone shit. But we were followed. For this video, I needed to draw you a quick map. Not a good one. A quick one. We'll get to that bit later. So obviously a lot happened this summer and I was kind of down in the dumps a lot. So one day, Eva and I were going to try and like apply for a job, so we wanted to get together and talk about it. We didn't end up applying to the job, but we just ran out of time to apply. So we came up to my house, and at first we didn't originally plan to have her stay over, but we did. It came to 9 o'clock at night and we were bored and we knew our friends wouldn't want to like hang out at nine o'clock at night even though one of them could drive so we said oh let's just go for a walk nothing bad could happen you know it's just a walk just on a main road so we walk where i live it's just roads yeah yeah well we walk up that way which is my right and we go over draw in the back, but well, there's no back. But we just go all the way up around the back and then we come back down the main road and then we turn left and if we continue going that way we would be going to town. So I said to her, let's not like go too far because you know it's like nine o'clock at night, I wanna stay near my house. So we said, why not go to the park? There's a Pokemon gym in there we didn't go too far into the park. We walked into the park, we stopped, we got the pokey stop and then we just continued walking. It's pitch black, there are some lights on, and there are cars driving in and out of the park, which kind of freaked us out, because we were just like, oh my god, what if we got kidnapped? That's a really ironic thing that we said. We were kind of in a bad place, Well, I was in a horrible place at this point. But I kind of, we were kind of joking, we kind of said, oh, I wouldn't mind getting kidnapped, you know, like, something. And then, that comes later in the story, that's why everything's ironic later in the story. So we go to the park, and this car drives in, and we got really scared by the car, so we kind of hid behind the Pokemon gym. It was like an owl thing, I'll insert a picture here. And we hid, and then the car looked like... We waited there for like five minutes and the car looked like it was going to pull out again so we were just like fuck it and we legged out of the park. Now this is where my little map comes in. We are here, that's us. Okay, imagine a bit further back, we're walking and I kind of hear a guy behind us and I'm like oh someone's walking up the hill we should probably shut the fuck up they'll probably think we're drunk and weird so I said to Aoife hey there's someone behind us we should just like quiet down a bit she's like hey what there's someone falling out I was like no 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 they're just walking it's just you know we look kind of weird you know breathing heavily after running out of a park at night so she's like oh okay but she was suspicious of him immediately. I wasn't because I was trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. I, I looked back at him. I didn't get a good look at him. Um, I thought he looked quite young at first, but he wasn't. So we are coming up here. This guy here. We saw him standing outside his house when we walked past. And, that, and he's also important to the story. So we're walking along here. I'm trying to make sure you can hear me as well. And we're walking along here, and we go here, to cross there, to go up here, to my house. 
it was actually Aoife because she was planning to check if he was actually following us or not. We were gonna go here but she stopped at the last minute and she said let's just keep walking you know. I was kind of confused. I only said I'm not gonna give exact details because it's like two weeks ago I can barely remember it but she said let's walk it keep walking so we walked here. I get my pen. And then as I looked back here, so we walk this way, and as I look back here, this guy here has crossed the road. So at this point, I start getting a little bit freaked out. So we continue walking here, and Aoife's getting a bit like weird now, so we decide to cross here. Right as we're about to cross, this guy is like here, and Eve is like there. So I'm freaked out. So we leg it across the road, and there's this woman coming down this way to go to her house, which was like here or whatever. <laughs> it's very complicated, but I'm trying to explain it the best I can through like, pictures and that. And it's very uncomfortable sitting like this. So she's walking down here, the guy is here, and me and Aoife are crossing over here. This guy now comes into the story. He's crossed over here. Just more elaborate, right? And he's whistling to us. And he's like, hey, hey, we didn't know if we, he was talking to us or this lady here. So we just kind of ignored it. And then Aoife finally turned around and he said to her, hey, do you know that man? And when he said that, I looked across at the man, because the man had continued walking this way. But when I looked back across, he was here. And we were like there, and the other guy was there. She had just gone straight into her house. Fucking bitch. And then um, he's like, do you know this man? And Aoife goes, no, we don't. And she sounds like she was going to cry. I was so worried at that point. The bad guy looked at the guy who was helping us, and he kind of gave him a look, looked at me and Aoife, and then left. So me and Aoife just continued walking up. Now you guys are going to be like, but how do you know he's following us? Basically, no one would have been... He crossed the road twice, okay? When we crossed again and the guy was whistling at us, the good guy was whistling at us, he crossed over again once the woman had gone into her house. I saw that. I saw him crossing over and the woman was going into her house. I saw that. He looked at the good guy before he left. I don't, I don't know. But he was definitely following us. I know that much he was following us. And yeah, I got followed for the first time in my life story of him following us does kind of end there but I just want to talk a bit about the aftermath of what happened. So after that me and Aoife decided to walk around again for like another half an hour just to calm down, make sure everything was fine, make sure the guy couldn't follow me home, for us home to my house and um, we called our group chat, like our friends, we were like oh my god guys we've just been followed and the guy who could drive he was going to come and check we are okay and give us a lift home or something. But he didn't, because he just passed his driving test, you know. Kind of bad to go out driving straight away. And then we came back here. And that was honestly one of the scariest nights of my life. Because we didn't sleep. We didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to sleep because I was afraid I was going to dream about it again. And Aoife just didn't want to sleep. We... It was such a weird experience, because after time, the more we couldn't stop talking about it, the more it just kept resonating in our minds. And there was a point where I was sitting on that chair over there, and Eve was on my bed here, and I had my knees tucked up to my chest, and I was just shaking, and I couldn't stop shaking at all. We met up with our friends the next day. And they had kind of brushed it off because nothing happened. I'm not saying they're bad people for doing that. It's because they've never had it happen to them. 
honestly, when you're followed, it is the scariest thing in the world. Even though nothing happens, they don't come near you, they don't talk to you, it's still scary because something could have happened. I've obviously moved on now because a lot worse happened after that, which again, personal, can't talk about. But back when it happened, I was stuck for a week thinking about it and I couldn't stop. It was horrific. And it always annoyed me that my friends brushed it off. I, I kept trying to make them understand how terrified I was of the whole thing. My friend asked Aoife, Bobo asked Aoife, and he said to her, So which one of you two was more scared? And I don't know what Aoife said, because I was standing off the side, because you know, ex-boyfriend and awkward. And... I heard that question in my mind, I went, me, I was more scared. And I was, I was fucking terrified. Because <laughs> I'm really fragile, and I've only just realised it in the past, like, two weeks. So, I just wanted to talk about that a bit more, about people brushing it off, because it's not right to brush it off. If someone's followed, comfort them, because it's fucking terrifying. If something happens or not, it's fucking terrifying, I swear to God. That's basically what happened. I didn't get hurt. Aoife didn't get hurt. We were fine, but we were terrified. That's important. The important part of this story was the guy we saw outside our house helped us. You don't see that a lot of people not today. A lot of people won't help someone who's being followed. They won't even notice. That guy was waiting outside his house. And he followed the older guy who was following us and checked that we would be okay. And that's what was really important. You should definitely do that. If you're a girl, it's a bit more understandable if you don't really know how to defend yourself too much. But if you're quite confident that you can defend yourself or you just want to help out someone, do it. It will honestly help someone a lot. The next day when we met, went to meet our friends, I had my keys in my fingers, that's how scared I was. I couldn't be normal about it. From the description Aoife gave me, the guy was bold and he had glasses. I think he was bold, I think. Because she saw him better than I did. And when I was going to meet my friends again, like a week later, I thought I saw him. And I don't know. I don't know who he is, and I don't think I'll ever know who he is. But it's scary to know that he could have done something, and he's still out there. So. Bit of a dark tone to the video, but overall an important message. Help them if they're being followed, if you notice it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and share with your friends to get a message out that you should help people more. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye!